10 on Monday the 3rd of April. There's more analysis, of course, of the day's main stories. That's coming up on Newsnight any moment now with uh, my colleague Kirsty, Kirsty Walk, over on BBC Two. Um, here on BBC One, as you know, all of our colleagues in the nations and regions standing by wherever you are with the news for you. But from all of us here on the 10 team, thanks for watching and good night. Who killed a leading Russian pro-war blogger in St. Petersburg in an episode reminiscent of the Cold War? The Russian authorities arrest a young woman and allege the attack using a bomb inside a statuette was organized by Ukrainian special services. But there are other theories too. We'll be asking our guests if it was Ukrainians, Russian anti-war protesters or the result of Russian factional fighting. Also tonight, as we come on air, we learned of the death of Nigel Lawson, former Chancellor of the Exchequer in Margaret Thatcher's government. We speak to Lord Lamont, a Chancellor himself, who was also Lord Lawson's number two at the Treasury. Also tonight, more school strikes in England as teachers reject the latest offer. But could the deals accepted by teachers in Wales and Scotland offer a template for success? And as Italy bans the bot, chat GPT-4, and experts publicly warn that AI combines the promise of extraordinary scientific advances with the risk of being an existential threat, we ask two humans, which is it? Good evening. Vladlin Tartarsky was a high-profile champion of the war in Ukraine, a blogger who didn't appear to be afraid to criticize the Kremlin for their shortcomings in the war. His murder in a cafe in St. Petersburg, once owned by Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of the Wagner mercenary group, was like something out of the 60s. Tatarsky was handed a statuette, which exploded, killing him and wounding as many as 30 of his supporters. The Russians promptly arrested a young woman, Daria Trapova, an anti-war protester. Prigozhin himself.